Let's talk about our weather forecast now and check in with Craig Herrera. Craig, it's just simply cold out there <laughs> and everyone wondering if it's going to dry out anytime soon. Well, the quick <laughs> answer is no. Uh, yeah, Jessica and Greg got a couple of systems coming in and then behind that as we go through the next seven days, you've kind of got this little ripple of waves coming through and you know, we're going to get some rain at some point almost every day for the next seven days. As we get started right now, you talked about how cold it is. Boy, temperatures have been well below normal for this time of year. We're sitting at 37 in Port Angeles. 39 in Bremerton, Olympia now down to 36, same for Puyallup and 39 in Chehalis, Arlington 39 or 38 rather for you and a few scattered showers uh, tonight through early tomorrow morning, snow levels dropping as low as 1000 feet. So maybe even see some snowflakes mixed in with some of the rain early tomorrow morning places like Bellingham and east uh, of I-5 there. As we pause a moment with Craig, this is Sasha. Look how cute a Husky Shepherd mix was adopted from the Wenatchee Valley uh, Humane Society. She uh, loves to go hiking and eat the snow. Well, then this forecast is for you, my friend, because we've got a whole bunch of snow in the forecast. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., we've got some scattered showers ahead of the front. The white that you see over the Olympics and the Cascades is the snow. The pink is the rain snow mix, and the green, of course, is the rain. 12 o'clock, I think, is when the front starts to push through and the backside moves out by 5. Behind it, some lingering showers through early Saturday morning, and look at that. The snow just keeps piling up in the higher elevations above 2,000 feet, and we know that's not that high, so that's all passes. If you plan on traveling the passes this weekend, it's not going to be good, especially well, Thursday and Friday, because the snow is just going to keep coming down. Friday, 12 p.m., we've got more rain coming through across the lowlands. Snow keeps coming through the evening hours Friday and even into Saturday. We get a bit of a break Saturday, but then a few more scattered showers in the mix as we go through the weekend. So estimated rain or snowfall totals by the end of tomorrow, anywhere from four to seven inches. Look at these numbers quickly, how they jump all the way up to several feet, two feet in some cases, rather, uh, by the end of Friday evening. So, yeah, you can see what I mean by the passes. Uh, it's going to be tough. So winter storm watch in place for all of the Cascades, both sides uh, from 4 a.m. tomorrow through Saturday, 4 a.m. above 3,000 feet and at times some gusty winds. Estimated rainfall totals by the end of the day tomorrow, a tenth to an inch of rain. And then by the end of Friday, those numbers go up to almost two inches in some cases. And the wind will start to pick up, especially across the South Sound as we go through Friday afternoon and evening, gusting up to about maybe even 65 miles per hour. Here's your seven day forecast. We've got 40s and 50s for several days and a little bit of rain in the forecast through the weekend. I'll have another look at the wind coming up with that storm on Friday. Jessica and Gray coming up in just yeah, a minute. I day. think she was trying to will some sunshine in there. Just not going to happen too much. We tried. I was trying. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> you got it.